Western media might try to tell you otherwise, but trust me, Pakistan is an absolutely stunning country. Think famous mountain peaks, emerald green and turquoise blue valleys, deserts filled with remnants of ancient civilization, and that's not even the half of it. In today's video, we're going to explore the top 10 best places to visit in Pakistan. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Number 10. Fairy Meadows Fairy Meadows is undeniably beautiful. Even if it has gotten a bit touristic and expensive, the meadows provide a spectacular perspective of Nanga Parbat, the world's ninth tallest summit. It's a little difficult to get to Fairy Meadows. The excursion begins with a jeep ride along one of the world's most perilous roads and ends with a 5-kilometer hike. You may hire a tent or bring your own gear to spend a night or two admiring one of Pakistan's most spectacular vistas. A jeep ride into the meadow costs roughly 8,000 rupees, that's $51, and strolling the road is not permitted. It's fortunate that the expense may be shared with other travelers. Number 9. Shimshal Shimshal Valley is definitely worth the effort it takes to get there. Even if it is a little out of the way compared to some of the other gorgeous tourist destinations in Pakistan mentioned on our list, the location is well known as a significant adventure destination, especially among climbers and mountaineers. Shimshal, however, isn't only one of Pakistan's most gorgeous spots for adrenaline addicts. Summertime in the village is magical. Surprisingly, it runs nearly entirely on solar power. Solar trips to adjacent yak pastures, as well as simply walking about and admiring the epic panoramas and fields of mustard yellow flowers may be organized. Number 8. Rotas Fort Greetings from another of Pakistan's most gorgeous locations. This time, a 16th century stronghold that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Rothas Fort lies in Punjab near Jhelum, roughly 4 hours from Lahore and 2 hours from Islamabad. Despite its antiquity, the stronghold is one of the largest in the subcontinent and is in amazing shape. The gigantic edifice, a stunning remnant that almost appears to transport visitors back in antiquity, may be explored for hours. It's possible to get lost for a full day within the walls and gates. Keep in mind that foreigners must pay 500 rupees and Pakistanis must pay 20 rupees to enter the fort. Number 7. Diosai Plains National Park The world's roof is commonly referred to as Diosai, and it is in certain ways. The huge plateau which stands at 4,117 meters, that's 13,497 feet, and is only accessible during the summer, is the world's second highest. Visitors who travel to this lovely location will be greeted with sprawling emerald green meadows, snow-capped peaks, and dazzling blue lakes. Diosai is home to the Himalayan brown bear, which has been seen by numerous visitors. Keep an eye out if you're camping. Number 6. Bahawalpur Bahawalpur is an old city located in Punjab. It lies between the arid landscapes of the Cholistan Desert, close to the border, neighboring India. It was once a princely state, part of the Rajputana states that stretched across Rajasthan in India, and was ruled by Nawabs and Nizams. The city is filled with historic monuments and old architecture, like the Noor Mahal. The city is a snapshot in time, taking you back to the era of the ancient kings who used to rule over this region. Bahawalpur has other impressive historic attractions, such as the famous Derawar Fort. Number 5. Hingol National Park Although Hingol National Park is geographically located in Pakistan, it resembles a Martian planet. 
The park spans over 6,000 square kilometers and is home to a mud volcano, as well as highly distinctive rock formations, enormous canyons, a diverse range of animal species, and even a mud volcano. Furthermore, a portion of the national park runs along the shore, adding the ocean to the park's other features. Hingle, despite its out-of-this-world appearance, is only 3.5 hours from Karachi, Pakistan's most populous metropolis. Pakistanis should have no trouble visiting the park, but international visitors have reported inconsistent results. Some visitors who were escorted by locals were allowed to stay in the park for a night or weekend, while others were only allowed to visit for the day. Number 4. Lahore What do you mean a city? Yes, Lahore is a metropolis, but its wealth of historical sites undoubtedly makes it one of Pakistan's most picturesque destinations. Lahore was the Mughal capital, and much of their legacy can still be seen. Hold on tight if you're wondering what the greatest spots to see in Lahore are, since there are a lot of them. The Badshahi Mosque, Wazir Khan Mosque, and of course, the Lahore Fort are among the city's most well-known landmarks. With dozens upon dozens of wonderfully maintained tombs, bustling shrines and havelis atop havelis, you've got yourself Pakistan's cultural capital. Number 3. Karachi Pakistan's most populous and most cosmopolitan city, Karachi lies on the shores of the Arabian Sea. Home to two of the country's busiest seaports, it began life as a fortified settlement in the early years of the 18th century, before going on to play a major role in British India before partition. Today it enjoys a reputation as one of Pakistan's most liberal and ethnically diverse cities and plays host to an important collection of museums and shrines, including the National Museum of Pakistan, the Mausoleum of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and the shrine of Abdullah Shah Ghazi. A short distance from the city, you'll discover the world heritage treasures of the Shah Jahan Mosque in Tada and one of the largest necropolis sites in the world, Makli Hill. Number 2. Swat Valley Though it has had a difficult past, Swat Valley's present and future are bright. This breathtaking valley in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's province seems like something out of a fairy tale. Consider lush green fields and woods, lovely villages and rivers, with blues so vivid and dazzling you'd swear they weren't real. The actual splendor of Swat can be seen in and around Kalam, which provides as a base for exploring the valley's natural grandeur. Number 1. The Hunza Valley If you live in Pakistan or have read anything about the country, it's almost certain you've come across the name Hunza. Don't let the word valley confuse you. Though Hunza is actually a massive district made up of numerous valleys and villages, one part of the ancient Silk Road, the Pasu Cathedral is a natural work of art and one of the most recognizable scenes in Pakistan. Though staying overnight in Pasu village is no longer allowed, the cones are visible from a ways away, starting from the village of Gulmit. Pakistan is a country with poetic stories and beauty. A visit to this timeless land is necessary. <laughs> 